welcome back to the channel oh today's gonna be interesting yes it is we're talking activewear from a place y'all would it'd be the last freaking place you would think to get activewear but they sell it five below who knew i went with bay the other day and um saw some activewear and said hey <laughs> thought I would try it out, you know? And I said, worst comes to worst, I make a video, kind of review, see what we're looking at. I mean, if you're not familiar with the store, literally everything's $5 or below. So everything I'm about to show you is $5 each. So I wasn't going into this thinking like, I'm gonna really score some crazy deals, like high quality stuff, so don't get me wrong. I just wanted to share this experience with you guys and if you're in the market for some activewear, you want a budget, or you go to Five Below and see their activewear, well girl, I'm here for you. But before we begin, definitely hit that subscribe button for new videos every single week. Girl, let's go! Oh, Alright guys, so I tried to get a little bit of like everything, I guess, a little variety to kind of showcase. I'm going to be trying all of these items on. So let's just grab some from the bag, shall we? Okay. There's no secret as to why I chose these. And it almost pretty much matches my shirt. <laughs> so we have these gorgeous printed like tropical almost. It's got the black background with the tropical plants. Ooh, I don't know what kind of flowers these are, but I like it. It is kind of high-waisted, all right? It's not exactly labeled high-waisted because all it says is Series 8 Fitness Active Leggings. I don't think they even know what they are. <laughs> it's in a small slash medium, that's how they size it. There's no like ribbed detail, no thick waistband, nothing like that. They're five freaking dollars, what do you expect? I'm gonna start off by saying I checked the one thing that I made sure they had was a gusset crotch for a four-way stretch and they have that, believe it or not. But guys, after trying it on, the very first time trying it on, a huge run ran right into the uh, crotchal region and it was def not squat proof, like not even close. So they're made of 95% polyester and 5% spandex. So right off the bat I was like, okay, these, these have a chance, okay? A lot of really great activewear leggings mostly consist of this material. But the fit is just awkward because you have it's kind of higher up in the front, lower in the back. So it's like not even like that. And for me, right around the quads, the this like material just like t fades out. It's stretched out. There's not enough of the durable like material around parts that it really matters. Like if you have bigger thighs or bigger bum, it's gonna stretch out and it's gonna fade to like white. <laughs> Your design is gone around like the quad area. Now if you're like a marathon runner or have like a super like skinny type of frame, you might be able to get away with these. But if you thick with two cues, don't even think about these. <laughs> if they stretch out on my skinny ass, girl they gonna stretch out on you. I'm not gonna lie, they make the bum look pretty good because they're not compressive at all. <laughs> so they're not squeezing anything. It's also not a good thing that it's not compressive because you can't do anything high impact or even moderately impact in these. However, they are adorable and they would look cute, you know, just with an outfit. Hey guys, we got another pair, but these are biker shorts and they caught my eye because they're really, they're really cute. They're high waisted and they have like a really nice mesh divide in here. You can see it breaks up the solid black. So I thought these were great, you know, why not? 92% polyester, 8% spandex. Okay. These look a lot better than the leggings. They don't fade out as much like around certain areas of your body. However, they're so not squat proof. I specifically picked the solid black to, to test out their squat proof <laughs> and nope if you're somebody just needing something to kind of walk take walks in you know low impact totally like these are great they're very comfortable why not but if you're somebody going to the gym squatting lifting weights and getting in some unusual positions you ain't gonna want to wear these girl just forget about it I mean these are technically biker shorts but even riding a bike you know bent over like that 
girl, you might want to make sure no one's behind you riding a bike because they going to see all your goods. <laughs> Believe that. So, no. All right, guys, I got another pair of leggings and um, I was sold on this pattern. This is a seamless. Can you believe it? Five below coming out with <laughs> seamless. Um, wow. This is like geometric. It's like looking through a kaleidoscope. It's that kind of design. Love the neutral tans, your girl likes that. High waisted, so not squat proof. Not a single thing here is, but what do you expect? Again, same situation as the other printed where right around my thighs, it fades to like white. It looks like a mistake on the leggings, but it's not. I'm a small, usually, in active wear. So the fact that this is a small slash medium and I'm still having a little trouble around the thighs, maybe I need a large. The only reason I'm relating all this to active wear and what I do, like, you know, squatting and things like that, is for those watching this in case you're interested in using them as like gym wear, because these are, labeled as active all this everything you see here was in their actual active like section so it is made to be active in all right but wearing them depends on what kind of active you are these are very low impact like just going out for the day and walking your dog um but other than that these are really super cute and they all come to a really nice length there's nothing too outlandish other than the fact that they're not really squat proof and they kind of fade out around the thicker sections of your body. Other than that, these are pretty. All right, next up. Okay, these are hits and misses, baby. Sports bras, let's talk sports bras. Gals, I don't think you need me to tell you why I picked this. Oh, it's vibrant. This is a hot, 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 hot pink sports bra and it's got this little design in the front, little clippers, right? And they actually do button here all right I like that I like that some are fake buttons which is unnecessary but these are real buttons I dig it so this is like a ribbed sports bra no adjustable straps it's it's great for wearing underneath something it's not the sports bra you want to do anything crazy with no high impact definitely not you don't want to be raising your hands you know doing any overhead extensions in this because you you know there's not a lot of support in this <laughs> But for $5, you best believe this is gonna be like a bralette in the summertime or wearing with high-waisted jeans at the beach. Absolutely to that. So this is like an athleisure, I guess you would say, kind of sports bra, not something you wanted to go crazy in. Um, it doesn't have a thick band down here and that's what's really gonna provide support to your girls. This doesn't like have any man. <laughs> So there's no support. But if you have a smaller type of chest like me, okay, mine are pretty much microscopic. If you're like me, you can make something out of this. Why not? $5. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, <laughs> let's see what else we got here. The other sports bra that I got, this one I'm actually really stoked for. Look at this beautiful gray laser cut sports bra. Are you serious? These both have, both sports bras have like bra inserts, so that's nice. This has a little bit more of a band down here, but it's still not like very compressive. So again, lower impact is the way to go, but out of the two, definitely go with this if you're looking to work out or even do yoga, stretching, things like that. The laser cut design is absolutely impressive to me. That's really, really adorable. This is not adjustable straps either. They're not adjustable. They're very simple, but in this case, with this design, you don't need it for me. You know, I don't feel like that's necessary to have. These are just really quick, easy sports bras to wear underneath something, out and about. If you're somebody who really doesn't like wearing bras because they're uncomfortable like me, I don't actually own any real bras, okay? I only wear sports bras. So if you're like me, get some $5 ones because then you'll have one for like every day of the month. This is actually really flattering to the girls too. <laughs> For somebody who has smaller, you know, region up here, it's actually really like hugs them nice, kind of gives you a little cleavage. So I'm actually really impressed with five below for this one. Okay, this, this I'll give them. 
Okay guys, next up, we got a big hit here, a big one. Moving on from leggings and bras, we actually got ourselves a cropped hoodie. Are you serious? A solid black cropped hoodie. Yes, five freaking dollars. This is cheaper than anything I've seen on Amazon. And I have some really awesome active crop like hoodies from Amazon for like $20, six, $15, $20, five bucks. And this is awesome in every way, shape and form. Um, they have different colors, but I had to go with the solid black so it'll go over anything. This is a winner, 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 chicken dinner. The material is 100% polyester, so it's it's soft. It's got like a nice feel to it, all right? No thumb holes, no problem. Okay, I'll get over it. The hood is nice, not too heavy, doesn't choke you out. This is great for anything, anything. You can go to the gym in this, warm up in it. That's what I like to do. I like to warm up because my gym's ice cold. Or just wear it out and about when you're going to see people. Why not? It's adorable. Go get yourself one right now. Go to five below, okay? Stock up. So the leggings were a definite no for me. The sports bras are a maybe, okay? They're, they're borderline acceptable. The hoodie, absolutely, absolutely two thumbs up. So yeah, guys, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this five below active haul. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely see you in my next video.